Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Sharita and the name of my channel is Unique by Sharita. In today's video, we'll be cleaning and decorating the hearth room. We are getting ready for spring. So I'm just going to do a clean, simple look. And the reason why I'm doing it now is because I have a new cocktail table or coffee table. I wanted something different because I want it to be more casual in this area. You know, a place where you feel comfortable setting your glass down while you're hanging out in this area. So I'm jumping right in, moving the furniture around. I've already started cleaning with the Method All-Purpose Cleaner. And I pretty much use the all-purpose cleaner on just about anything in our home. But over here on this wood piece, I'll be using the Method Wood Cleaner. And I love the smell of this uh, wood cleaner. All right, so now that we're pretty much finished cleaning, let's go ahead and start decorating. I pulled out the ladder because I wanna add these lampshades to my sconces. I've had these sconces for a little over two years now, and I still love them, but every now and then I want to, oh, I think about giving them a different look. So the simplest way to do that is to either add some candlesticks or add these beautiful lampshades that I got from Amazon. And I do have links to the lampshades as well as the sconces for those of you who are interested. All right, so now we're just adding these simple vases to the mantle. We didn't need anything too dramatic because I'll be using them to add some greenery. And then I'm adding these candlesticks to each side, as well as these cute little black birds that I purchased from Home Goods. And now we'll just add this tray with all of my candle lighting accessories and yes, of course, a candle. And now I'm just adding these ash leaf spray greeneries to each vase. I purchased these from Amazon, but I prefer the ones from Hobby Lobby, which is a little bit more expensive. And I'll share a link up top or iCard in this video so you can see where I shared them in the haul showing the difference between the two. And I kind of took my time adding the greenery over here because I wanted to see if I could get by with just using one spray, but I love the look of, of three. So we're going to go ahead and add three and later on I'll spread them out a little bit more. All right, so let's go ahead and decorate the bar cabinet. Do you all remember this lamp? Yes, there's three 
lamps to this set and they are still one of my favorite sets of lamps and although i love them and i haven't gotten rid of them i decided to just keep them and bring them back out when i needed them and i shouldn't say needed them but when i wanted a different look so they work pretty good over here they're a little bit too big for this bar cabinet but they'll still give me the look that i want Since these were stored in the attic, I definitely want to clean them off a little bit more. And when you're cleaning items that have been stored, you definitely want to dust them first or vacuum them before you wipe them with a wet towel or a wet cleaning towel. So I just sprayed the towel with all-purpose cleaner to wipe my lamps down. No, I'm going to bring my coffee table books as well as a few more items I've already had. And yes, this new purchase, which is this cube I purchased from Home Goods. It looks great over here. I'm adding mostly black decor pieces over here on this bar cabinet just to incorporate it a little bit more into this space. Since we built the bar cabinet last year, I decided to use this area to store my candles. And to my surprise, I found four glasses over here that I forgot about because I don't use this as a bar cabinet like I did before. So I wasn't opening and closing it as much as I used to. So here are two of the glasses and they're beautiful. Where have they been? I have definitely been needing them. And here is our new table. I absolutely love it. I was undecided between this one and two more. Actually, I love the other two. And I went looking for something similar. And that's how I found this one. I wanted a concrete table. There's one at Pottery Barn and there's one at CB2. But they weren't going to be in stock until August. So... I decided to go out looking and I found this one on the showroom floor. It was discontinued, so it was discounted. So that's why I am bringing it home or we brought it home and I'm giving it a really good extra deep cleaning. I did clean it over in the kitchen area, but I'm going to wipe it down a little bit more over here. And according to Restoration Hardware, even though this isn't made by Restoration Hardware, the Method All-Purpose Cleaner is recommended for cleaning surfaces like this. And did you all know that my sofa came with these three pillows and we're just going to add them here just to give it a clean look. And we're also going to add the pillows that I had made for the two chairs over here as well. So this is just a simple, simple look right now. We'll do a little bit more later on, but that's what I'm going for, just a simple look. And of course, I want my coffee table to be 14 to 19 inches away from the sofa. So that's what I'm doing, measuring it because it is a different layout and we definitely want to be able to utilize the coffee table. And yes, we are keeping it simple on the coffee table. This is almost like that restoration hardware look as well.
And now I'm just going to borrow one of the decor pieces from the bookshelf and use it on the side table. Although I think it's still a little bit too big for the side table, we'll change it later. We're just going to use it for now. All right, everyone, this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you some motivation as well as ideas that you can use in your space. So I'm really in love with this look and I wanted the flow to continue into the hearth area from the dining area. And that's why I wanted to add those two lampshades to those Aspar sconces. So thank you all for watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. If you haven't already subscribed and you like these types of videos, please hit the subscribe button, turn your notification on so you'll be notified when I post videos. And please stick around to the end of the video. I changed out the beads on the coffee table as well as added a throw blanket to the sofa and another pillow to one of the chairs. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.